It's back. It's time. That's right. Every four minutes, someone dies. Starting at 10 minutes, which is a little bit confusing. <laughs> One and all, welcome back to the Community Games. This is crazy. Not only are we doing the every X minute someone dies mod, but we've amplified it, courtesy of Hosin over here. Hosin, who created the simulation mod. We're using the 1.25 speed simulation mod. We just done a game with the 1.5x. It was a bit crazy. I think 1.25 may be a bit, a bit saner, and I felt like this was a good application. Why are we increasing the simulation speed? What's wrong with the pace KP? Why are you being cringe, bro? I'm just thinking ahead. Realistically, if we're going to get Wallow to pick up Age of Empires 4 again, I guarantee they're going to want to fast the pace of the game just to save themselves. Same reason they use Empire Wars. Simulation speed could be our way. Shout out to Osin. He has basically amplified as much as he can in some very janky ways. For example, he's applied greased axles to units they move faster in general, like these villages at 1.46. Because a lot of the behaviors he would need to increase simulation is behind something called the state tree. This is interesting though. For those that have not seen this game mode before, the whole idea is every X minutes, the person who's killed the least will die. If all these players, eight and a half minutes from now, have zero score, they're all out. Rasselbock wins straight away. Shout out to Rasselbock, by the way, who is our mod creator. I love how we have Hosin and Rasselbock on opposite ends of the field here. Both creators are part of what we're using. Hosin creating the simulation speed and Rasselbock creating the meat grinder mod. Now, we've done something different here. Something unbecoming of me because I don't quite often do this. Yeah. We're playing on King of the Hill, a non-micro, non-small map. If you remember, typically we're using these maps that make um, the map smaller in general because of the cliffs around the outside, such as such as Caillou's uh, Mini Dry Arabia. The reason why I'm confident to go this big is the simulation speed. 1.25x means you're going to gather your resources for tech-ups quicker, you're going to move quicker, and it means that even with just seven and a half minutes, realistically, people should be capable of spreading a little bit of blood across the hills plains. Where this is going to get really spicy, though, I'm wondering if putting it every four minutes might have screwed them because they're going to have to play very fast considering how spread out they are. So let's see how this one's going to play out. Intro of the players. We've got Spoja up here in the blue. Uh, we've got DJ Bunton in the pink playing as HRE. Blue is, of course, going to be the English. Rasselbot, the creator of the mod, is going to be in the Ibids in the purple. Is an interesting choice. Orange is going to be playing as the Byzantines. That's fail gain. Cohen in the red is going to be playing as the Byzantines. Little tip here, by the way, when you're in this game, if you don't quickly click these buttons at the beginning, which uh, I can just show you quickly by pulling down the score, you will not be able to get your hands on these increased speeds. Is it necessity that you click these buttons to get all the effects you're looking for? So looks like one of our low level players uh, didn't quite realize that. We probably should have reminded them before each game. It's the way that it had to be implemented for it to work. It doesn't take any time, any resources. You just need to click all the buttons straight away. So rounding us out, we've also got Tom the Stream in the yellow as English. Teal is going to be our other modder, Hosin playing as Order Dragon. And finally, it's going to be poke mode returning on the Zhuzhi. Now, interesting thing about this lobby, actually, bar Hosin's Conk rank in team, the highest rank is Diamond, of which Hosen's one of them. We've got two Diamonds, we've got quite a few Plats, we've got two Golds, an Unranked, and a Silver. So this is a, definitely a, a much more lower ranked lobby. No sweaty Conks in here. Our pro players are sitting on standby, waiting to play in the next round. And I'm curious, man, like considering we've got low ranked players, how many of these people are going to forget to go for a kill? So far, the only person who's got a kill is Rasselbock. He was able to kill the enemy scout when it dove his TC, so he's safe. As long as he doesn't run his scout back in and give something back over. Oh my, could you imagine if everyone killed the other person's scout and they all died because they have 70 resource kills? Because remember, the way this works is the joint last place points will be eliminated. So in five and a half minutes, if these players don't move their ass quickly, there's going to be a lot of players removed from this game. Now, 1.25x simulation was meant to speed the game up, but not, not like that, not to that extent. And no, we can't see in-game chat. We can, however, see the player scores down here, which is very nice. Shout out to Rasselbuck for working hard to get that UI element in. Absolute legend. Scout goes down. <laughs> Dude, our two modders are safe. Let's check those movement speeds, by the way. 1.25x. <laughs> Look at this. This is without wheelbarrow, by the way. 1.46. These scouts move quite fast. 2.11. And the Lombos are in! 
Sposure is as safe as a bank. DJ Bunton not even reacting to it right now. Lombos are so quick as well. 1.46, 1.35 attack speed. It's crazy. You look away for a second, this type of punishment happens. Painful stay at the game. And now the pressure's ramping up. Tomla with the mass Lombos from the south side looking for a target. Cohen has not cancelled the outpost. The villagers are going to be in quite the pickle though. Koan. Not moving away. They don't see this. They're not going to see it before it hits. He's in. Lombo strike him. Koan slow on the move away there. So that's going to cost him dearly. We have a few players at risk here. Four minutes out and four players yet to get a single kill. So many eco dying here. Okay, tell me this is not like more intense. 1.25 movement speed, Lombos are so quick to arrive that if you neglect to pay attention, you are going to get pummeled. And the crazy thing is you have to remember, this is more punishing in a team environment or in a free-for-all environment rather than a 1v1. Because remember, the map is so much bigger. So like collectively, the UI elements appear a lot smaller, right? So this is very tough. Koan didn't see it for the second time. Tom was in. <laughs> oh my God, Koan's dead. There's no coming back from this. You haven't got a single kill yet, and your eco count is now going to be down to, what, 14? And that was with a double villager start, by the way. We always do a double villager start to make sure people are capable of going for elims. Unfortunately, Koan was not ready for this. A reminder that Tomla isn't our highest ranked player, by the way. Tomla is actually a gold two player. So they were actually towards the lowest end of the spectrum here. I think there was only a gold one, a silver, and an unranked that we could reasonably say are lower ranked than them. Wall's now going up. Jesus. That is an ambitious wall from Rasselbok. Tomla just getting a little safety net up against Hosin in the corner. For good reason. Hosin did go for the fast castle here. Smart choice considering they're mostly safe. And now with these Gilded Knights, they can get some freebies. Shaolin Monk coming in from poke mode. <laughs> Holy crap. Prelates are so quick to get back here. That's with the Relic, by the way. 1.1 movement speed with the Relic. And that is most definitely going to be Hosin safe here. So two players yet to get any kills whatsoever. Tech ups are being complete quite quickly here. Hippodrome, oh my God, dude. Koan is only now going into Fulege at seven and a half minutes. This is brutal. Big Trump energy from Rasselbock. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna do what Trump couldn't. Watch this, mama. <laughs> it won't. It definitely won't hold the Greek immigrants out for long to the south, but it'll hold for a bit, guys. Limitane are massing on the border, and I believe Orange is one of the players that, yeah, still needs a kill. So he needs to move soon. DJ Bunton. He's going to look to strike as well, though. Ooh, wait, what? Feudal Age Men at Arm Spam. That's wild. Does he have marching drills? He does not have marching drills, right? 1.46. That's the same movement speed as Lombo. So no extra movement speed means he's going to struggle to touch anything here. <laughs> the short burst. Outpost will give points. Watch this, guys. Boom. He's safe. Even getting bonus kills here. Oh, my God. Spoja may have struck early, but a great strike back here by DJ Munton. <laughs> These Lombos are not killing quick enough either. This is crazy. I love this, man. The speed on this is wild. And it's balanced because it's all rounder, right? Like everyone's getting that speed increase. Um, big shout out actually to Hosin, who was even able to make sure that Cavalry didn't get impacted by the soft cap of two movement speed. They seem to be moving quicker than the two threshold, which I love to see. Look at this good one. 2.11. Oh, I love this, man. I, lo I actually, like, big shout out to the modding community. They don't get enough credit. For, for the work they've been putting in. I love that I'm able to start highlighting the work they're doing, and I love that I'm able to work with some of these amazing people to come up with these great ideas. This is so much fun. Imagine if Koan now came back. Giga Wait, what the f <laughs> So hold on a sec. He built a Hippodrome, and now he's adding in free stables. All right, I've never seen this Byzantine build before. I'm going to sit down and educate myself. Elimination coming in. Fail gain. Pour one out for Orange. Poor little fail gain. He didn't actually ever make a move. I'm a little bit shocked by that. So first elimination done. We are now four minutes away from the next. Get your predictions in. Who feels weak? Who are you sniffing out to be likely to go out? And before anyone says Koan because he's getting slapped, remember, 
If you're going to dive an enemy base, that means static defenses are going to stockpile points. So sometimes it's actually not the player who's pressured the most that is likely to go out. The other cool thing about the simulation mode is with this extra movement speed, like realistically, if we played normal mode and you had four minutes as the English Lombos to cross to, say, pink, from your base, that's very difficult, right? But with the extra movement speed now, that's a more doable task, which I love about this. It's, it's kind of like what was maybe missing to make the meat grinder mod applicable to any map. Tom not actually prepping the rams for a very aggressive move here. Meanwhile, camel lance of spam coming out. These guys are fast. Wait, guys, you know how camels ramp up? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I want to see a long charge so badly. The gap close is going to be insanely quick. I don't know if they... Well, oh my god! I don't think they can actually get all their damage together because they gap close too quickly here. That's crazy though, right? Because they can get up to like 3.2 movement speed at max charge, I think it is. Wild. Rams moving in the meantime. Mass horseman coming out defense. <laughs> Not that impressive though. Long bound count too high and no undermesh from Koan. I think that's a very big mistake. A little lesson for Koan. Like, you know, undermesh is very important here with mass horseman. You're going to lose to Mass Lombos because of this detail. Steel Dower is already in. Undermesh is in. Dive's going to come in. Triumph is activated here, but it's just not scary. This many Lombos should easily be able to defend this. Not enough to insta-snipe one down, but more or less he can just stand his ground. He's just start stepping to be safer. That's going to be a wipe of the army. In fact, that's Dark Age Limitane still for Koan. Koan, who, funnily enough, actually has enough gold to upgrade them. It's never bothered. Hosin in the meantime has gone Imperial Age. Good God. Hey guys, how about uh, Gilded Villages every six seconds? You, you might mistake this for a regular HRE. This is not. This is the Dragon Villages. <laughs> All right, Poke Mode is warring me right now. He's camping in his base. He actually needs to kill something. He's running out of time. He's a minute and a half away from elimination here. So, Red. We'll clear up the Rams. Did get a few, a few longbow kills, so we can actually see that they are incredibly safe now. Oh, I say incredibly. 360 resources. Not crazy. But considering the poke mode, it's almost like he's forgotten the game mode he's playing here. You need to go. The closer you leave this, the more the panic sets in. This is like, you know when you watch a Sacred Sight timer and you let it go down to three minutes? You don't have time to react orderly, right? You start rushing and panicking and mistakes get made. That's exactly what could happen to poke mode here. I'm a bit worried that they've forgotten what the timer is. Just a reminder, like, we get this very kind of subtle UI over here. For these players, they get huge bars with the scores at the top left. So it's a very clear detail to them. And apparently, Poke Mode decided to skip the memo. I would not have anticipated Juji going out next. Like, that, this is crazy. He's not even moving. I think Poke Mode totally forgot. Someone needs to actually poke him and get him moving right now. The crazy part is if he just attacked this small eco pocket, he could probably burn this all down and just about survive. Unfortunately, Koan has now stockpiled more points, though. So, weird removal uh, in the second round here. Poke mode just completely forgetting the game mode that he's playing. I swear, how are we looking on Rasselbok? Relic Gathering is going reasonably, not crazy. Poke mode is officially out. I, I, I can guarantee Poke's going to be in the stream right now. He's like, I forgot. <laughs> I can already sense it coming. The game even pops text out to remind you. But next player with the fewest skills will be eliminated. So get your asses moving. Love this claim coming out from Rasselbok. A lot of gold. Gets him into that late game quite comfortably, right? Wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing TC booms around the center as well. Yellow in the meantime is coming in for a permanent removal of Koan. Koan the Barbarian is not going to hold on very long here. TC's being hit up. Villagers have moved away. Unfortunately, the issue for Koan in this game is that landmark elimination still work. We've done that purposely to make sure that it's not unfair to like players that actually are still technically alive, but get eliminated instead of someone who's already dead. Right? The goal here was to not give anyone a free four minutes because of a weird interaction where one player has got points, but has no base left. So these Rams taking out the TC. Oh, dude, I just realized as well. No way. You could not be serious. Koan didn't realize that you have to press all the buttons.
So Koran actually should have been fine there. Like, well, not fine, but he would have fought a lot better. Remember, if you're playing this game mode, folks, you're playing the simulation mode, you need to be clicking all these buttons in your TC straight away. They have no research time, no cost, but they need to be clicked to activate. It's just the way the mod has been set up. So, mistake made there. Koran actually just ends up surrendering out in the end. Uh, we have got a few... Wait, Tomla, what the duck? Did they forget to click all the buttons? Oh, I think oh, I think some of these just stay here. But if I remember correctly, for Koan, the others were still missing, right? Should we do a quick check, make sure everyone's hit their buttons? I think it's worth doing here. Suppose you has TJ Button. It doesn't matter. He's dead. Oh my god! <laughs> all right, that's a landmark victory right there. DJ Button is going out. They're accelerating the game, by the way, because when you eliminate a player, like when a player surrenders, it doesn't reset the timer. I'm gonna have to talk to Rasselbock about having that as an option because I think that might be a good idea here. This game is going to be absurdly quick. Now, admittedly, he is killing a lot of units diving him, but unfortunately, same time, DJ Button, even with his gills, it's not going to matter. Funnily enough, Spozier has arrived as well. He's like, I want to farm safety as well. <laughs> I regret farming safety as well. Oh, God. Bunton now building up a regnant to try and survive here. Actually, looks like Blue may have given him a, a little bit of a... A breathing room here to actually get that final landmark up. Meanwhile, Hosin on the move. Oh my dear god. Wait, that's Mass Lombo against Landsneck. Oh my, they're so fast. They're so fast. 1.62 movement speed. This is a cleaving unit that moves at this same speed as a standard knight in regular play. That is batshirt crazy. Arkin now being target down. Regnitz not yet complete. I mean, at this point, DJ Bunton's dead. Luckily for him. No, actually, unluckily for him. He, he is next up on the chalk and block, right? Koran already tapped out. Lance neck, just one touch, just one touch, one touch, touch! Oh! oh my god, that hurts. I haven't seen someone swipe that hard since I watched a horny person on Tinder. Good God. Everything just deleted there. Hosin is well and truly camped up and safe for the next round. And DJ Bunton will be going out next. Whew. And then there were four. Four minutes till the next elimination. Realistically, Rasselbot can secure himself into the next phase with an easy kill over here. Spoja. Oh, God. That is not an army that's going to survive. Rasselbot is out of control of this game. That is so many camels. Fitz would be proud. I mean, Fitz might be a bit overly excited, actually, if he saw this. Good God. They have fucking charged so quick. Well, Spoja is... Technically safe, as long as, you know, Rasselbock doesn't decide to kill all his landmarks, which, why not? Like, why wouldn't you at this stage? Such a clean-cut win. Good God, he doesn't even go into melee form, right? This is his true camel archer spam. <laughs> oh, more troops come behind this. I've got a feeling this is going to turn into a modder versus modder. Final two. Rasselbock and Hosin look like the unstoppables right now. The indefeatables. Indefe undefeatables. Uh, Hosin just learned the hard way that I did not enable Sacred Sight victory conditions. So that's just gold. He's going to have to go for a kill. Unfortunately, Tomla is a pain in the arse. He built a Barkshire. Oh, that's so doing. Meanwhile, exposure is done. <laughs> it's completely done. Stick a fork in him. Good God. Rasselbock is just unhinged in this game. He's like, I made it. I rule it. That's where Hosin now wrapping around the back. A smart choice here, right? Siege would be too much of a slow build up, even on the 1.25 speed multiplier. He needs to hit the economy. He needs to hit the farms. These farms, if I'm not mistaken, they track a standard cost. So even though you spend 37 wood, they're worth 75 resources on your points. So villages are good. But the buildings are just as important here. 
Weirdly enough, Housen is actually... Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no! Not like this, not like this. The Cleaves, the Cleaves! Tomla, nowhere safe for you to hide, my friend. Hosin is looking to claw this back. Tomla is getting quite a bit of points hauled up here because of the barks here. TC also assisting, so a little bit of an extension here. Hosin in a bit of a panic. He needs to start torching buildings now. Spoja, actually GG's out. We're down to three. Tomla could grief this, though. Realistically, it should be Hosin versus Rasselbot, but these strong defenses are farming up a storm right now for Tomla. Cleaves coming in. Just needs a few slices, a few taps. Staggered formation is going to be used, though. Tomla, I can't believe this. I actually can't believe it. Hosin, despite how this should be playing out, it looks like he's going to be going out in third. It's just not enough to kill here. Too many troops have been lost with this dive. Unfortunately for him, Tomla's strong point defenses are going to win out. Just a small difference between them. Hosin does take the lead, but it feels like a temporary one. He needs to burn more buildings ASAP. Oh, my God. Did he just turn it? Did he actually just recover this? Tomla has lost a lot of eco on the backside. Right now, Hosin needs to get out of the base. Any more units lost means that actually Tomla could take his place. Hosin, well played. Dude, I, I'm impressed. I actually think he was done here. Like, it looked like it was already over, but clutch play onto the backside as the farm's being reoccupied. The cleanup of the remaining army means that Tomla most definitely is going to be going out in third. And now we get down to two, and this is now very scary for Hosin. It's Imp versus Imp. Rasselbok has got mass cavalry. Camel Lance's charges could wipe this army out, and Hosin. Wait, what? Wait, did I misread the score? Did... What? Do we have a bug? Or did I miss extra kills at the last second there? Because I'm pretty sure that Hosin had more. I misread. Oh, crap. I Okay, he must have changed it around the end. I guess he got some extra kills right at the end there. Oh, it's because of Spoja. All right, I'm going to mop it. I forgot. Because Spoja surrendered, it changed it. I think I'm going to have to request people just don't surrender because right now that messes with things a little. Okay, unfortunate then. <laughs> now, now this is just a given. Before it was a little bit of a fight, right? Hosin actually had an economy to fight back. Tomla is dead. <laughs> this is the easiest win Rasselbok could have asked for in this game mode. Yeah, so so Spoja, just to point out, like for people when they're playing this, I have conquest on. So if your landmarks go down, you will be eliminated. And I think that should reset the timer still. Cavalry can build, yes. When you use the military wing, you get the ability to build with cavalry. <laughs> Can't believe he's built a tower of the freaking Sultan here. <laughs> this is so many camel answers. Tomla right now is actually farming more kills, courtesy of the Barkshire. But this is an overwhelming force. Dervish also showing up with a relic. He's like, let me wall or something. So Calvin the Sultan actually has a decent attack speed in this game mode. Dive to the backside. He needs to start killing ASAP. Wallow's going to come out. Completely pointless. <laughs> but it doesn't matter anyway. Rasselbok has absolutely annihilated Tomla. Barkshire is not going to save him anymore. In fact, right now, the Barkshire is attacking the Tower of the Salt on the worst thing possible here. Eco is being hemorrhaged. Tomla now down to 45 villages. No military force. This is over. Your victor will indeed be Mr. Rasselbok, creator of this mode. Clearly, devs are OP. Yeah, definitely a mode that needs some tweaks still. I think like we need to work on the um, the surrender reset triggering. I'll talk to Rasselbach about that as a condition. Because I feel like this should have been him and Hosin uh, in the end. Because let's be totally honest, Tomla, that dive was killing him off big time. Now an extra Tower of the Sultan coming in. I love that Rasselbach's like, well, it's an easy win. But that doesn't mean you don't win with style. Tom was like, I might as well see this out. I've got a minute left. Let me know what you guys think of these game modes, though. Um, I think we are developing a really cool bunch of different mods in this community, and I love that we're able to feature them. Um, big shout out to Hosin and Rasselbok that gave us the combined mods to do this game mode. Rasselbok, he created the Meat Grinder. If you want to search Meat Grinder on the mod area. For the one that was created by Hosin, 
That's the simulation speed. If you search 1.25x or 1.5x, you will find the mods. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you want more of this content.